Buildings consume 40% of the United States energy and 70% of the electricity. They also are emitting around 40% of the carbon emissions from the operation of the buildings. The reason I was interested in looking into microalgae as a building material is their ability to replenish by themselves while also uh, giving the benefits to the built environment. Microalgae cells act like human sunglasses. Where the sun is very intense, they can grow faster, increase the, the density of the cell growth, uh, such that they can block the unwanted sunlight during the summer. And that during the winter time, when the sunlight is weak, they will grow slowly. And they can maximize the winter sunlight such that we can reduce the use of the heating equipment. Before coming into the architecture program, I studied biology for about eight years. So I know a lot about algae in the environment. It's using algae in a more positive way, and it's taking advantage of some of the useful properties of algae, such as carbon sequestration. Sustainability is one of my passions and honestly this class is showing me the different depths that you can take algae biomass, whether it's construction or architecture, the different ways that you can use it and to push innovation in a different light, in a different way, it's pretty amazing. Innovation Barn demonstrate a lot of circular economy uh, technology and innovations. Putting the technology out there in the center of the city, we will attract more public and demonstrate the benefits this technology could offer. I'd really like to see the public interact with the windows and see the potential for the use of microalgae in building systems. Getting to see how people interact with it, their perception, do they accept algae-based technologies? Is it something that they want to see? Is it something that they appreciate? Do they know more about it? Do they want to get to know more about it? Architecture always has the stigma of like sustainability just being, you know, putting sensors on lights or making windows that open so that you can get cross breeze. But it's really important to further those concepts and incorporating an entirely new system like this into sustainable design will really help us push the limit of what we can do for sustainable architecture in the future. Through the integration of this kind of nature-based technology, I like to find ways to make the buildings less environmentally impactful. Dr. Kim is very passionate about her work. You know, we tell that from day one, she walked in and immediately started teaching us about algae, you know, without skipping a beat, it was fantastic. Being able to think outside of the box, being able to collaborate with others, it's been a great learning experience.